Keane's dispute with McCarthy simmered between the surface of the return leg with Holland, but Keane stayed true to Ireland's cause. Roy Keane set the tenor for the game after, I think, about 60 seconds. He clattered Mark Overmars. And Roy Keane with the first big tackle. Yes, sir. Keane several times got a hold of the ball and looked for a corner of the pitch to hide in, just to, just to take the heat off the defence. And then one of his forays down the pitch, Jason McAteer scored from. And from a position where you thought, well, we're going to be very, very lucky to get a draw from this game. Ireland won this match, and that was Roy Keane. That's what he does. The final whistle sounds of Lansdowne Road. And ultimately the most effective of Irish performances that we've ever seen. And Mick McCarthy has taken his team, surely, all the way to Korea. But with the match over, a photograph captured the gulf between Keane and his manager, Mick McCarthy. It's quite incredible, the body language. Mick McCarthy has this deferential look on his face. And Roy Keane has this look of contempt frozen on his face. And he's looking in the opposite direction. You can almost drive a bus between their two bodies. I think that moment really crystallised their relationship.